Hey everyone, it's Kelly, the Frugal Fun Mum here in Adelaide, Australia. That's important for today's video. Welcome to the channel and to, to the video where we're going to be doing some price comparisons. So I did a walkthrough of Coles, Woolworths, Audi and a Foodland IGA because the only independent IGA we have is a good half an hour drive from me and I couldn't get there. So I've gone to the Foodland IGA, you'll see the film, the shot when I go in there. So it is a smaller store, so of course the prices are going to be a bit up there. But I'm curious to know how it compares with where you guys are, because I know that you have more independent IGAs in the eastern states and stuff. So I've gone through and filmed some things, and I've got a list of the items that I did film. So just kind of watch and go through. I'll try and do a bit of a voiceover for you guys. But I've gone through and I've looked at apples, bananas, capsicum, zucchini, tomatoes, cucumber. Then there's kind of bread and there's mince, uh, mince meat. <laughs> uh, there's some porterhouse steak and some blade steak, depending which store. Not all stores have the same types of meat. Um, we've got... <coughs> excuse me, chicken breast, sausages, then there's sugar, icing sugar, flour, pasta, tomatoes in a jar, like so a tomato puree, then there's the passata, the big jars, and any tins of tomato, rice, two minute noodles, butter, margarine, Milo for 60 grams, Nesquik, the smaller tin, I think it's about 300 grams, wheat bix coffee, sour cream, normal cream, yogurt, uh, milk, including iced coffee, chocolate milk, strawberry milk, and then Pura. I picked a brand name just to kind of show how it works between the different stores. Cream cheese and then grated cheese, a block of cheese, sliced cheese, ice cream, and then there's dishwashing liquid, laundry liquid, eggs, and in some of them there's some cauliflower and broccoli so i've tried to sort of encompass a whole general stuff I asked in a couple of facebook groups what are the things that you would buy every week and need to know what the prices are so they're the things that i focused on so just watch you can pause the video as you're going and maybe jot down any notes so this was filmed on saturday the 9th of april uh at, at all of the stores so i spent all day filming for you guys so and there, i'm in adelaide so base that leave me a comment below let me know where you're from and what your prices are and what you think about what you've seen here i would love to know so and i'll see you at the end of this and say goodbye let's go okay first we're going to head into coles because i know coles pretty well so i just went and looked at all the apples and just recorded so you can see that the price is around $5.50. We have these ones for $4.490, 4 dollars 90 for Fuji apples on special. And Royal Gala apples were on special for $2.90. And Pink Lady apples are $3.90. Bananas are $3 a kilo. And then these are just the packaged apples. I thought I would just show you guys. They're about the same. On to capsicums now and the price here 1490 10.50 and some eggplant snuck in there and some zucchini roma tomatoes green cucumbers or i think they're continental cucumbers and oh there's a lebanese cucumber i think i had no idea what i was filming at the time but i wanted to get across here to the truss tomatoes because i know they're popular with people and then around the corner to the bread. So it starts at $1.40. The next one is $1.70. And they go up to $2.40. This is all home brands. You can go into other brands. Mince meat is $9.50 for 500 grams or $13 for one kilo. Uh, and the fat varies. Porterhouse steak is here for $22 a kilo. I think that was. And blade steak. Dice meat, this was in the wrong spot, so $13 for the 500 grams, all the grass fed. Breast fillets, $10 a kilo, it used to be $9.50. Uh, and barbecue sausages, I haven't had barbecue sausages in ages, so I just filmed to show what was here. 
at six fifty for five hundred gram packs. Onto the sugar, a dollar fifty for a kilo, two twenty for two kilos, and icing sugar three twenty for the home brand. That's a smaller bag for two twenty. Uh, flour dollar twenty five one kilo or two kilos for two dollars twenty. And then onto the pasta. So Coles have two lots of pastas. You can get this one for a dollar. Or you can get the blue bags, which are 80 cents each. Uh, this is tomato puree in a jar. So you can see they vary in prices as well. And then Posada, $1.55. And then there's another one for $1.95. So that's a Lego Legos. Uh, tin tomato, so six sixty cents for the chopped super home brand. Um, diced ones, whole ones, eighty cents. You can get the double size for a dollar fifty. Kilo of rice is a dollar forty, and two minute noodles they're nine dollars. But as you can see, is like none. <laughs> I know that Aldi don't sell two minute noodles, but I just filmed because people asked. Butter, so the smaller one is three dollars twenty five, but the bigger one then goes up to five. Oh, six dollars. Sorry, <laughs> it was five dollars sixty last time I looked. So there you go, and then just showing you the Western Star for price comparison there, and the other ones that we have up there. Uh, all right, regular spread was a dollar eighty for the smaller ones, and the bigger one there was no price here, but from memory it was three dollars twenty from last week when I got one. Smaller tins of Milo here, and then the Nest Quick, and then the Wheat Bix is one point two kilos. And here's the coffee. I know that Audi don't really sell these, but I just wanted to show you guys to compare for Woolworths. Sour cream that used to be two dollars, it's gone up to two twenty, and just everyday cream for the three hundred meals and the six hundred meals. Base uh, vanilla ice yogurt, sorry, <laughs> and strawberry milk, chocolate milk, ice coffee, one liter of milk, dollar thirty five. The this is the three liters, three dollars ninety, and the two liters is two sixty. They were in weird spots in this store, and two dollars forty five for a liter of pure milk. This is the other brand that's popular, Great Ocean Road, and then four dollars for, or three thirty for the other pure. Two dollars ninety for spreadable cream cheese, and three thirty for a block of cream cheese. The Philadelphia often goes on special. Grater cheese. A block of cheese, you can get then one for nine dollars or this one for nine eighty. And then we have sliced cheese, so you can get this Coles tasty cheese, or you can get the cheaper ones in the pack for the sliced cheese. Uh, ice cream, so two liters of vanilla, two seventy five. And then we've got the oh no, we don't have that's all I had there today. Um, dishwashing liquid, so you've got the super Coles cheap brand or the earth one which is what we use and then laundry liquid and you can see again there's none <laughs> and then this is the earth laundry liquid that we've used before as well forgot to add in the cauliflower that on special for three dollars fifty this week i think you'll see a trend soon and broccoli for 7.90 a kilo so Pity they weren't both on sale. I forgot the eggs as well. Three eighty for a twelve pack of seven hundred grams, four eighty for six hundred grams, and then there's another Coles brand, seven hundred grams for four fifty. So it depends what you want. All right, on to Woolworths, and again starting with the apples. Oh, there's bananas for three dollars, <laughs> and then we've got apples. So. Oh, there's a pair, sorry. $4.90. Jazz apples are $6, so more than Coles. $6.90. $3.50. These are on special last week from memory, so hence why the prices aren't crash hot now. So that's the thing with fruit. You need to really look at the prices that are going on. $3.90 and $3.50 for Pink Lady. So these are cheaper than Coles. And then... Oh, they've got the bundle packs here that I just filmed to show you guys what they have. 
three fifty. So they're pretty much the same price as individual, but apparently if you buy them in the packs like this, you will get a little bit extra products because they do an average weight. A tomato, so eight ninety for Roma tomato, um, or oh, seven ninety for the broccoli. Six ninety for these tomatoes. I can't remember if I saw truss or not. I've got the cucumber. Is that a cucumber? <laughs> these come in sets of capsicum and zucchini. I can't remember if I saw any loose capsicum. And a bag of carrots magically appeared in there. And cauliflower's on special for three fifty. Imagine that. Oh, here we go. Truss tomatoes eight ninety. So on par with everything else. Onto the milk. So it's 360 for two litres. And 390 for three litres of Woolworths full cream milk. And the pure, so it's two dollars forty for one litre. And then it's four dollars for the two litres. And it's five dollars for the three liters, so I think that's the same as Coles. So sausages, they had deals on this week. They often have deals on their sausages, and again, I think it depends on what you like for taste. Because some people say one store sausages are better than the other. So I think it's not always about the cost. It does depend on the taste. Uh, chicken breast, same as Coles, ten dollars for a kilo. Um, but they had these thigh fillets on special for seven fifty a kilo, and there wasn't many left of those. They'd gone pretty quick. Mince meat, so it's eight dollars for the five hundred grams, or it's thirteen dollars for the kilo. And again, it's all to do with the fat percentage and whatnot. Diced uh, steak is eleven dollars for five hundred grams, or thirteen. That's yeah, extra lean. And porterhouse steak, so this was $25, I think it is. And oyster steak, oyster blade steak is $15. Sorry, my camera's covering some of the prices when I am doing my voiceover. So onto the eggs, so they started about $4.50, $5.20, $7.40. Eggs are quite expensive at Woolworths compared with Coles. And then chocolate milk, the same as Coles. I really love that Woolworths have their own chocolate and strawberry milk and iced coffee, but they just don't pack the flavour as what Farmers Union does. Butter, so $3.50, so more expensive than Coles. These ones are on par though for $3.25. And then Western Star was on special this week, so I just filmed it to show you guys as a bit of a price comparison. And the bigger blocks, $5.60. So that's on par with Coles as well. Uh, spread of broad cream cheese, $2.90. And a block of cheese is, I think it's $3.25. So it's cheaper than Coles. Tasty cheese is uh, $6.90, I think that was. Now, two lots of blocks of cheese. $9 for this one. Or you can pay, yeah, $9 for that one. Sorry, two lots of footage. Or nine ninety for this one for the tasty chat. I don't know. I just film it all for you guys. <laughs> Slash cheeses. Oh, and yogurts. So exactly the same as Coles. And then margarine. Oh, and this is the same price as Coles. I went back and double checked. Sour cream, exactly the same price as Coles. And thickened cream. So two ten for the three hundred mils. And then the three dollars for the six hundred meals. Bread starts at a dollar seventy, I think it is. Yep. And then it goes up to two forty. I think there was a dollar forty there that I saw last week, but I didn't see any today. And Milo is here for that tin and nest quick. So three dollars, exactly the same price as Coles. On to the coffee because coffee is life. Exactly the same base prices. $5 for Makona and $7 for the Nest Cafe. So when they go on special, it's really good. And exactly the same for Wheat Bix. $5 for the 1.2. Sugar, $1.50 for a kilo. $2.20 for two kilos. But they have a three kilo bag for $3.30. Coles do not have that. That is impressive. Icing sugar, $3.20 for the kilo bag. 
but the CSR was also on special, so it's worth stocking up when the brands go half price or on special. Plain flour is two twenty for the two liters, and then on to the tin tomatoes. And again, you can get a massive range. I thought there were some cheaper ones here, but they didn't seem to be any on shelf. Oh, there we go, dollar fifty for the double up. Oh, there you go, eighty cents for the cheaper ones. These were mixed around on the shelf a little bit, so it took me a bit. Ah, uh, this was the last bag of rice. <laughs> then those little ones there. And two-minute noodles, so $9, exactly the same price as Coles. And beside this is a bit cheaper than Coles. And pasta, so spaghetti, $1.25 for these packets. Or the Woolworths brand is a dollar, so same as Coles. But they don't have a cheaper option than that. I don't think yet dollar twenty five for the Woolworths brand. Uh laundry liquid two dollars. This used to be about a dollar fifty. And then dishwashing liquid, just the Woolworths, and then the Earth brand two twenty. So exactly the same price as Coles. Ice cream for the four liters and then for two liters. I love they have Neapolitan because Coles didn't have that when I was there. All right, on to Audi and bananas. Yeah, you'll save one cent. <laughs> Here are the apples. They were on special. And the cauliflower, which was a cent cheaper than Coles. And broccoli, which was on sale. So that was really good. Zucchini and more apples. They were on special. They were really good. And in the packs like that, Again, I guess it depends your kind of preference for what kind of fruit and veg you like. It's going to be up to you where you want to go shopping. And right next door is a fruit store, so I'm not sure if that determines what these prices are. Uh, tomatoes, because I've priced comparison to everything else. And capsicums, so individual. So the green ones are a bit cheaper than Coles here. A cucumber. Chicken breast, so $10.99, so a little bit more expensive, but I don't know if that's about a brand name. And then mince meat, you can only buy the bigger packs that are here, sorry, and the smaller packs that are here. Again, I'm not sure on the fat percentages. We've got porterhouse steak and sausages. There was no diced steak. There was stir fry though. Nesquik here and coffee, they only sell the bigger packs. And then onto the cheese. So this is cheaper than Coles. The individual packet sliced cheese as well. And the shredded cheese. And then the block cheese. We've had this one before. It was really yum. Table spread, $2.39 for this. I've had this before. It's awesome. And then onto the butter. So this is the brand that they have. It's exactly the same price as Coles. Except this one is one cent cheaper. And this is the only yoga I could find to compare it with Coles and Woolworths. So there's no other brand in there. Spreadable cream cheese. And then we've got sour cream. So again, one cent cheaper than Coles and Woolworths. Smaller cream and the bigger cream. And iced coffee in Farmers Union. And then their own and then chocolate milk. So a litre of milk, two litres of milk, and then moving on to three litres of milk. So again, one cent cheaper. Pure milk. Wheat Bix, they only sell the smaller 375 grams, so I couldn't compare it as a truth. Um, and the Posada, that one's more expensive, but this one is cheaper by a cent. And then the tinned tomatoes diced here, their comparison. Uh, Audi don't sell two-minute noodles. This is as good as you're going to get, so I still filmed it to show you guys. And then eggs, so again, like one to ten cents cheaper, depending on what size you want, cage, free, etc., etc., etc. White sugar, two kilos. That's the smallest bag that they have. And flowers a dollar twenty five, so exactly the same price as Coles. Icing sugar three dollars nineteen, and then bread. I was getting confused. So a dollar fifty nine, two dollars twenty nine, and then a dollar thirty nine. 
<laughs> they were all over the shelf. Laundry liquid, dollar ninety nine. Spaghetti or pasta bags are ninety nine cents, and two kilos of rice is two seventy nine. That's the smallest bag they have. Dishwashing liquids, dollar nineteen, or two dollars forty nine, depending what you want. Ice cream, two liters, and four liters. And then we have here Milo, and this is the smallest tin that they have, <laughs> 1.25 kilos. So a bit hard to price compare when it's not the same weight. All right, on to Foodland IGA. So here we have cauliflower that is on special for, let me have a look at the price. It's $3.99. Zucchini is $2.99. So on par sort of with coals but their broccoli is $9.99 so ooh. Uh, capsicum $12.99 that's about equal with coals um, cucumber $2.99 it's a bit better than coals and our tomatoes that are here and then we've got our packs of apples as well and same thing some of them are on special $2.99 got some sneaky pears in there but Pink Lady Apples are $2.99, so they're cheaper than Coles or individuals for $4.99. Pink Ladies, Granny Smith's, and Fuji's Golden Delicious Apples. And I can't see what this one is because my camera's blocking it. Uh, Trust Tomatoes, $8.99. I think that was about the same as Coles. And the only bread that they sell here are these loaves for $2. But they are a bigger size than the Coles basic home brand. Chicken breast is $8.99. And sausages, $7.99 for the kilo pack. And then they've got blade steak. I can't see the price. Sorry, you'll see it better me. Diced beef. They've got... Beef mince, but this is a premium mince, and I'm told it's really, really good. And then rump steak that I filmed. There wasn't any blade, I think, there at the time. Eggs. They have a whole wide range of eggs all on the shelving here. Three fifty nine, four fifty, five seventy nine. Just kind of depends again the weight and cage or free butter, 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 butter. So home brand butter is a little bit. Cheaper than Coles, black and gold. And then here's the Western Star. Okay, sliced cheese. Here. Uh, sorry, that was grated cheese. This is sliced cheese. <laughs> and then this is the packet is comparison with the Coles. Blocks of cheese. Just showed you some other brands. This is a bit more expensive than Coles, though, for the tasty cheese. And there was no home brand yogurt for me to compare for you guys. So I'm just kind of showing you. This is about the closest for 50 for the Uplay. Uh, sour cream, same price as Coles and Woolies. And then this cream, I'm just showing you because this is the thickened cream. But then this is the liquid cream that would be in comparison. So it's about on par for price. Milk is more expensive here, however, $3 for 2 litres. Or it's $3.99 for three litres. Um, and then this one is more, even more. <laughs> so as meant to be a South Australian milk to support the farmers. Iced coffee. And then one litre is $1.49. And then pure milk. So $3.30. So this one was on special. And $4.99 for our good old wheat big. So one cent cheaper than Coles. Flour is $1.25 for one litre. Sorry, kilo. <laughs> two twenty. So that is on par with Coles. Icing sugar is exactly the same as Coles. Um, and then, yeah, sometimes their CSR goes on special as well. Pasta is a dollar. Tomato paste, dollar forty. That was a little bit cheaper than Coles. But the chicken noodles were not at nine ninety. But the smaller packets were on special this week when they weren't at Coles. Ice cream, home brand, was whew, a bit expensive. So black and gold there, though. And onto the dishwashing liquid. And a laundry liquid. And there was none. <laughs> and coffee. So these were unspecial. So these look pretty good. Three fifty, which is about what they are at Coles or Woolworths. But full shelf price is seven forty nine. And then Milo here, showing the special. And then eight ninety eight. 
and then exactly the same 306 here but three dollars at coles and rice two dollars eighty cream cheese and the blocks of cheese and again the philly was on special and the posada here well thank you so much for watching guys i hope that it's helped just at least to get a bit of a balance of where uh prices are where you are where i am and even store to store especially food lands like our drakes romeos and igas in adelaide all the prices are different and depending where you are some of the specials are different um i think not so much suburb to suburb here for coles and woolworths but i have heard in the eastern states prices can change so if that's you and you know of that leave me a comment below because i would love to know how prices go but i hope that it gives you a bit of a baseline about what we have here in adelaide and you know i'd love to know what your prices are absolutely um because i know that we all need to we're trying to do our best to beat inflation right now and the prices are just ridiculous so anything i can do to help help i i hope that this has helped you if there's any other video ideas or thoughts that you have again leave them below i would love to hear from you if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already on this channel we have lots and lots of stuff frugal fun stuff uh grocery hauls markdown shopping meal planning and meal prepping freezer tours um how to save money budgeting all that stuff to try and help you guys and upcoming we have even more stuff so subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out when a new video comes up thank you so much for your time today i so appreciate it and i look forward to seeing you next time bye